PM, you spoke a little bit about the process uh, and how it's been different yeah. for, uh, for Mr. Go Chok Tong, for yourself. Can I take us back to uh, the selection for uh, DPM Heng Sui Kiet when he was chosen as party? Mm. And at that point in time, a broader consensus was sought. The SMSs, the MOSs, they were all uh, drawn into the process. Could you walk us through why this time round you chose to keep it to just the, the cabinet, the full ministers, and not involve the, the larger group? I think essentially uh, the key team for the prime minister is his cabinet. And you will have um, tighter core groups within the cabinet who deal with, uh, who work most closely with the PM, but the cabinet as a whole, uh, that is the PM's governing team, and the PM is in the cabinet, the primus inter pares. He's first amongst equals. They have collective responsibility for governing Singapore, which means that the PM must have the full support of his peers in cabinet, because otherwise the government cannot function. I explained to you how with the 2G ministers, it was basically a small group of ministers uh, who made the decision with the 2G succession. With the 3G succession, it was a bit bigger group of ministers, but it was not all the ministers who made the decision. Uh, with 3G, with, with the 4G, uh, uh, with Mr. Heng Sui Kiat, uh, the, Mr. Heng decided to go for a more inclusive process. And after the ministers had uh, decided on him, he wanted to talk to the MOSs and the uh, the other office holders as well to uh, get their support before going to uh, the caucus of MPs. But in our case, we did the ministers because that's the, that is the group which has collective responsibility. And after the ministers, we went to the MPs, including the ministers of state and the Palsex and the other office holders, and they also supported the choice. And of course, I and the two senior ministers have also strongly supported the choice. So I think it's a variation in process, but the essential thing is the prime minister and his cabinet ministers, ministers must have absolute trust and confidence in one another and must support one another. Support the leader, support the team, work together, and they are one. It is not like that in many countries. The form is the same. The actual workings of it are very exciting. And I think in Singapore, the more we can maintain the way we have done things in Cabinet, I think the better it is for Singapore. 